Hey guys, this is Noor. He's the owner of RSI, Royal Stone. It's located out here in Ogden. So if you live in, you live in Davis or Weber County, you're welcome to come check out his slab yard. He has granite, marble, quartzite, quartz, and the newest material that's called Lapitec. A couple of things about quartzite, it's a high performance stone. That means it's a lot more durable. Some great things about quartzite is that the design is always very unique. The way I explain it is when you see a quartzite, it's almost like a blend between a marble and a granite because it has a softer look. It's almost like they took a filter and they blurred parts of it. That's why I really like quartzite. But quartzite is a lot more expensive than granite and usually more than marble as well. So this is actually a very special, a unique material from India. It's called sansimone, but it's a dolomite. Is dolomite harder to upkeep than quartzite? Yes, it is a little bit softer material for sure. Uh, but what's great about this one is the factory that we're getting it processed from. They're using Breton and Pedarini. Those mm. two are Italian machineries. So what they do is basically they treat it in a way that it basically performs same as quartzite. So basically we also consider this as a high performance stone. One thing that we really like about quartzite is that the designs that these have are great when you're doing full backsplashes, waterfalls. Some of the high-end homes in Utah, they will choose a stone like this and they'll have us cut it to frame size and they'll actually put it up on a wall with the light behind it. These are some of the really cool applications for really nice exotic stone. Nor, if you had to choose a granite, what would it be? Honestly, I'm a big fan of natural stones. Okay. Um, coming to granite, I love cotton white. Okay. Just because, just the color of it, it's light greenish, whitish, and I think it's more of a neutral choice. It can go with white, gray, brown cabinets, no matter what you have. Cotton so that's white. one of my favorite granites. Let's go check it out. Sure. Cotton white. Yep. Colonial white. That's Colonial right. white. There are different quarries in India when it comes to colonial white or cotton white. Mm -hmm. What we did, we actually ended up tying with the company who owns the quarry. What they do is all of the premium exclusive blocks, they keep it for themselves, mm -hmm. rest all goes to the market. Mm -hmm. Our colonial white is by far the best. This is the leathered, polished just on the way. Colonial white or also known as cotton white. And this is a granite. A couple of cool things about granite and natural stone is that you can have a polished finish, you can have a leathered finish, and a matte finish. Some slab yards have what they call a satin finish. From what I understand, a satin finish is almost like leather. When you run your hands through it, you feel a texture to it. A matte finish, when you run your hands through it, it's not shiny, but it is smooth. And then the polished finish, when you look at it, there's a reflection. 